welcome back everyone so i decided to do a voiceover here and there because the background noise was a little distracting but i'm going to leave all the descriptions from every product that i talk about down below and i first started with my favorite bread the ezekiel bread this bread combines six grains and legumes making it a great source of protein amino acids vitamins c and b and a great source of fiber How about muffins? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next up might be one of my favorite drinks ever, and that's the LaCroix sparkling water. What I love about this brand is that they don't add any artificial flavors, sugars, or sodium to their products, which is commonly found in carbonated drinks. They're also BPA safe, and the natural flavors in this drink are derived from oils of the named fruit which is pretty cool. So definitely recommend it as an alternative to water. So as a former vet tech, I have to talk about my cat's food. <laughs> so I absolutely love the brand Halo. It's found in a lot of grocery stores. It's non-GMO. First ingredient is always whole animal protein, which means that that's the majority of the content in the um, product. And then Ellen DeGeneres is an endorser for this brand, which is pretty cool. So definitely recommend this brand. And of course, Tyler getting his coffee. We usually get our coffee from a local company called Dark Moon, but we ran out, so we're getting some now. So I might make a chicken stock um, for this week, and I wanna um, add some bone broth. I'm looking the ingredients here. Um, just stick, uh, chicken stock, carrot, celery, tomato, spices, and that's it. Less than six ingredients, so we're good to go. Next up are the eggs. I usually get free range organic, not cage free. Cage free means that they're not exposed to the outdoors. You wanna make sure that they run around and have a happy life, so definitely organic. Next up is the Kite Hill. Oh my God, okay, so I got introduced to this new um, cream cheese. It's dairy free, it's almond based, and they have yogurts, cr uh, cheeses, pastas, it's so, so good, and the ingredients are super clean, so definitely check it out. So the only ingredient your peanut butter should have is peanuts. Okay, let's go. What are you getting? Blueberries for my shakes in the morning, and strawberries. Oh. And then, Tyler really likes cereal like at night and so we're gonna look for a healthy cereal, see what he comes up with. Go uh organic cinnamon cr crunch. Yeah, totally healthy. Cinnamon crunch, baby. Let's see the ingredients. Organic. Nope, that does not say anything. <laughs> Protein, one gram, we're good to go. Nope. Only eight grams of sugar. Okay, so see here, second yeah. ingredient is sugar. Yeah, there we go, baby. Babe, you know better than that. Woo. Never mind, I found this. What is that? This is what I was looking for. I wanna see it. This is what I was looking for, ladies and gents. Only five grams, uh, oh. Oh, yep, 11. Five grams of, of protein, so you, you can get your gains in. Wow, you're getting your snack in. A lot of sugar. Doesn't matter the protein. Let go. A lot of sugar. With almond milk, I usually stick to the same brand all the time. I absolutely love this brand. It's Califia Almond Milk. I love it because it has six ingredients, only six ingredients. Um, it's soy free, dairy free, non GMO, and most importantly, it's carrageenan free. Carrageenan, hopefully I pronounced that right. But um, this is just a common food additive that you want to avoid, but just to be safe. It's not dangerous or shown to cause any serious illness, but some people have reported GI issues, so I just try and stay away from it. Now that I'm getting my fruits and veggies, I think it's important to highlight that there's a lot of fruits and vegetables that are sponges for pesticides, such as apples, berries, 
potatoes grapes lettuce bell pepper spinach so those sorts of things are super super important to buy um, organic On the other hand, vegetables or fruits that you're not eating the peel, I'm usually okay with the not buying organic, like bananas and avocados. So it really depends on your preference. I usually buy all organic, but for things like these, I'm okay not to. as you've probably noticed by now I don't bag my veggies or fruits just because I feel like it's a waste of paper but the cherry tomatoes oh, I need to buy them in that plastic container just because they're so good and lastly our bulk items I usually buy oatmeal quinoa rice and bulk so we can control our portions and save some money popcorn every night and I just can't stop but it's okay because it's popcorn popcorn's healthy for you especially if you have organic popcorn mm, yeah Can totally. I stop? <laughs> uh, yeah stop go ahead go ahead and stop yeah, you're getting popcorn everywhere oh Lastly, I wanted to show you a quick, simple, healthy dinner that I made right after our grocery haul. I chopped some greens and added some avocado for healthy fats. Obviously, my cherry tomatoes that I love, so easy to cut and just place on your salad. And then I just cut some colorful carrots and sprinkled some feta cheese, which I love on salads. favorite things by far is to make my own salad dressing. I'm a big believer that we do not need to buy packaged salad dressings just because they have so many things that we want to avoid and it's such an easy thing to um, prep. So I added some of these condiments that I showed and mixed them all together and it really tastes like Caesar. <laughs> Super yummy.